Sacramento Pass BLM is a free campground less than 20 miles from the Great Basin National Park. It has a total of 10 campsites and you can stay here for up to 14 days. You access the campground from US Highway 50, also known as the loneliest road in America. When you've gone over the cattle guard, you can start looking for a campsite in one of the two loops. This is a first come first serve campground, so we recommend arriving around noon to increase your odds of getting a spot. The lower loop, also known as the pond loop, is the largest with six pull through sites. If none of them are available, you can head to the upper loop, which is smaller but has space for at least four campers. Three of the sites in the second loop are back in sites. The road to the upper loop is between site five and six, where there is a sign that says equestrian trailhead and campground. Since the upper loop is much smaller and the road up to it is pretty steep, we recommend walking it first if you have a big rig or a long class A to make sure there's a spot or enough space to turn around. Most of the sites have a covered picnic table, a fire pit, and a grill. There are vault toilets at the beginning of both loops and a big dumpster by the entrance. If you have a Nevada fishing license, you can try your luck at the pond, or if you don't, you can still enjoy the small dock and the water. The closest dump station is at an RV park called Border Inn Casino about 15 miles east. If you're heading west, there is a cheap dump station in Ely at the Silver Sage Travel Center about 47 miles west. There is also a dump station at the Great Basin National Park before you get to the Lehman Caves Visitor Center. We didn't have any signal on our Verizon phone, but we got one bar on AT&T which was usable with our cell phone booster. Other than the road noise from the highway, we enjoyed camping at Sacramento Pass, and if you're looking for a free place to camp while exploring Great Basin National Park, this is a great option. Please leave a comment if you have any questions, subscribe for more campsite videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.